So I want to talk about consideration of pain in animals. There's a lot of common pain misconceptions, and you're going to hear all of these, and you probably have heard all of these. Number one, my dog doesn't cry out. He isn't in pain. He's just old. Animals don't feel pain like we do. There's nothing we can do. Post-op pain's a benefit. Spays, neuters, minor procedures don't need pain meds. It's too dangerous to give pain meds to sick and debilitated animals. And my clients won't pay for that. So the first three are client complaints. The fourth one is a veterinary complaint and a client complaint. And notice the last four are all us. I mean, we are our own worst enemy when it comes to this, if we have this kind of attitude. I'm going to address some of these one by one. And the first one is, my dog doesn't cry out. Well, yeah, if it's chronic pain, like the dog with the abscess tooth that's been coming on forever, it's probably not crying out. Acute pain, like this dog uh, that encountered a porcupine, this dog is screaming and crying. So acute pain's easy, chronic pain is not. And it's a struggle sometimes, and I'm going to um, talk about things uh, that you can do to help with that. The other big ones clients say is, my dog's just old. You know, old dogs play. Natural aging causes a decrease in muscle mass and energy, but the desire to play is still there. And if that dog is sitting there and sleeping, except to get up and go to the bathroom and to eat their food, then it is not because it's old, it's because something is wrong. And the odds are it's in pain. 